The Prime Minister outlined Britain's position for the next stage of Brexit negotiations during a landmark speech on Friday. In the House of Commons on Monday, the Prime Minister updated MPs following her Mansion House address before she took a huge dig at the Labour Party leader. Theresa May suggested the Labour Party would try to keep the UK in the single market after it recently altered its position to try to keep the UK in a customs union, Mrs May said, we will bring back control of our laws to this parliament, to this country, unlike the Labour Party's position which is to remain in the single market and effectively to remain under the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. Parliament EDV Theresa May delivered a huge dig at Jeremy Corbyn during a speech in the House of Commons. This is a government that is focusing on making a success of Brexit. On delivering for the British people, Labour has nothing to offer. They voted against moving the negotiations on in the European Parliament. They twice voted against the bill that delivers Brexit in this Parliament now. They have gone back on what they promised on the Customs Union. This is a government that is focusing on making a success of Brexit. Theresa May, over a week ago the Shadow Chancellor said Labour would keep all options open on whether to have a second referendum. This government and this party is clear, there will be no second referendum. We are delivering for the British people and we are going to make a success of it. During her address in the Commons, the Prime Minister also acknowledged there would be ups and downs in Brexit discussions and said both sides needed to face the fact this is a negotiation. She said, neither side can have exactly what they want. There are hard facts for both sides, Labour leader Mr. Corbyn responded to Mrs May's address by branding her leadership as shambolic. He said, 20 months have passed since the referendum, a year since the triggering Article 50, 20 wasted months in which the arrogance of a cabinet who said it would be the easiest trade deal in history has turned into infighting. Set-piece speech. After set-piece speech, the Prime Minister's speech on Friday promised to unite the nation yet it barely papered over the cracks in her own party.